During a recent trip back home, I found a pile of old photos I've never seen before. I've always loved looking through old photos and getting nostalgic, so this newfound treasure was so exciting for me. Contrary to what I thought before, it seems like my family had always had a photographer in their lives. I found pictures of my grandma and grandpa when they were young. There were pictures of my mom and her sisters when they were growing up. I got a glimpse of their lives I could never had imagined. Photography is such a magical thing. With all the AI photo restoration technologies we have nowadays, I wanted to give Photoshop's own machine learning feature a try. The results were fascinating. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how I use Photoshop's neural filters to restore my family's old photos. There are two filters that I tried, Colorize and Photo Restoration. The Colorize filter is already available to everyone, but the Photo Restoration filter is only in beta right now. To get this feature, open your Creative Cloud app and click on beta on the left. Click on install next to Photoshop, and after it's done downloading, open the app. And now we can go ahead and restore some old photos. Open the photo you want to restore in Photoshop. Make a duplicate layer so you have an original copy. Go to Filter, Neural Filter, and activate Colorize. Make any adjustments that you think is necessary. Next, we're going to try the Photo Restoration Filter. Since this feature is still in beta, it doesn't always work out. It works really well when there's a prominent face in the photograph. For example, the difference is quite noticeable in this photo, but not the others. The filter also takes a while to process and it doesn't really tell you that it's still processing. The way I check if it's done processing is by checking the OK button. You won't be able to exit the neural filter window if it's still processing the photo. And sometimes you may get an error message. I was able to resolve it by lowering the adjustments. Click OK to save the changes that you made and exit the neural filter window. Now you can clean up the photo more with the Spot Healing Brush tool. I like to keep the vintage look of the paper, so I only did some minor touch-ups. And that's it! Export the photo once you're happy with it. This was a quick tutorial and I hope you give it a try. I absolutely love the results and I can't wait to share it with my family. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.